Hey y'all and welcome back to Hans Von, where today we're actually going to be opening up $800 worth of cards. Let's get into it. Alright, but first we have to go into the winner of last week's giveaway. So we had three commenters on the video, uh, so I just went and did a spinning wheel for them. Uh, the results are going to be here. So there we go, we're using the Wheel of Fortune. We're going to give it a spin. And Ed comes up the winner. And congratulations, Ed. You're the winner of this Pikachu VMAX here. Uh, if you could just DM me on Instagram at Hansvon underscore TCG or on my email, that's going to be both linked in the description. I can get that out to you as soon as possible. So thank you for being the first winner of a YouTube giveaway and the second winner overall on my channel. Uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for a chance to win at the end. I will announce another giveaway there. So I appreciate y'all's support. Uh, we're helping to grow this small community and uh, hopefully you enjoy the product. Thanks. Oh damn, so up close, here we go. First one here, check it on out. I'm really nervous for this. This is a lot of money. And uh, if we could pull a Sky Ridge first edition, any of these, these are all great packs. Anything, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, just gonna take a quick knife across the top. My heart is pounding, oh my gosh. I know I'm new to this and this is all crazy, but I, I just, I love the thought of being able to open up something and, and get base packs in here. That's just crazy, invokes a super nostalgia. Okay, there we go. Oh, and it has a little Mewtwo on it too. That's funny. Uh, I wonder if that's Project Mew. It's supposed to be actually spelled that way. But, okay. I'm going to price set it down. We have in our first one here. Okay, good. We got celebrations. I'll be opening all these up as we go along. If we pull a base set or anything like that, I will uh, weigh on whether or not it's valuable enough for me to keep or grade. Because if I pull something that's crazy, I think I'd really want to save that and grade it as my first one ever pulled. But here we go, we're gonna open up Celebrations, great pack, going up for great investment too if you wanna uh, find some of these at, at retail value. They're super hard to find though. I don't actually know the card trick for this, but we can get started here. We have a Kyogre, a Cosmog, Cosmion, and a Lunala. That's crazy, we got all three in a row. Uh, for Cosmog, Cosmion, and Lunala, so, and the cool Kyogre, so, nothing crazy there. We'll move on. Oh my gosh, my heart. Looks like we have an Evolving Skies here. I think this might be a Vintage Pack one because I don't feel the graded card, and that's got me, like, buzzing right now. Uh, evolving Skies again. Looking for any of the alt arts. The alt art Rayquaza is one of my favorite cards I think I've ever seen in my life. I think the pull rate's like 1 in 1400 though, so uh, we'll see if we can get anything there. But here's the code card for y'all. Oh, also, here's the Celebrations code card. That's, here we go, we'll do a card trick. I need to take this slow, four to the front. Oh man, my heart, lightning energy. Scroll the Flying Dragon, Crustle. Switching Cups, Litleo, Chincho, Dino, Pumpkaboo, he's like a little clay figurine, Carvana, hate Carvana, Dialga, Reverse Rare, that's pretty cool, and a Seismitoad again, I've pulled this card like so many times, so at least we got a Reverse Hollow in it, so far we're looking at, what, $9 of value, but we do get four packs regardless of those, but here we go with the next one. Which is going to be a nice chilling rain, um, which has the Moltres on it there. The crazy alt art of that Moltres is great. I already have the Calyrex Ice Rider alt art from this, which I pulled like last year sometime. But here we go. There's your code card upside down. One, two, three, four to the front. And again, these cost $200 each. It's crazy. Please give a like comment or subscribe on what you're hoping I pull out of this uh, but I'm really hoping to make my money back on something here but if not it's a big gamble and uh, show some support for it please thanks here's a fire energy a drizzle 
Dynatree Hill, Justified Gloves, Good old Bang Sweet, Kabu, Inke, Diglet Dig, Score Bunny, Reverse Hollow Kabu, and a regular Rare Survivor. So nothing big out of the pack so far, just that Reverse Hollow Dialga, and obviously Celebrations has some cool cards in it itself. So I think we have one more pack here, and then we get into the new ones. All right, so here's our Brilliant Stars. Again, looking for Charizards. Ooh, we got a cool pick there. These all are legit, no reseals or anything like that. So that's good news. And this part. Brilliant Stars, hopefully we get a Charizard. Oh wait, we got a white code card, whoops. I always forget that those ones are sometimes but we'll see. We can still get stuff in the uh, alt slot here. So we got Water Energy, Weevil, Dusclops, Morgrem, Electabuzz, Hawlucha, Weasel, Gibble, Trapinch, Reverse, Holotropius, and a Berlin. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I think this should be an ungraded card here. I think it is. All right, so here it is. It's a little sticking up a little bit out of there see what we got here suspense is killing me it looks like a little left to right off in the centering but uh if you can see that the top to bottom looks pretty good uh, and the card looks in generally good condition but here we go it is oh an aria dose that's pretty cool from the trainer gallery 09 of 30 so pretty cool card there um put that off to the side but the one we've all been waiting for i'm gonna close my eyes as i freaking pull this out it's actually a graded card so he leaves a note on this and said i hope you enjoyed this box please tag at project neo on instagram to share your hits or contents i will repost and tag you in my story super excited to see your polls thank you for your support so psa graded um looking very good on the back we do have some whitening down here in the bottom left but he does uh leave that leave that note on top so you cannot see what it is until you open it it's right here <laughs> And we're gonna pull it off, slide it on out. And then on the back of the note, I think it has, oh, that's pretty cool. It's just uh, got a Hitmonchan, Haunter, uh, Meganium, Scyther, and Jolteon. And I assume that's uh, an avatar of himself. But I don't know what side this is on, so I'm gonna flip it like this. Like this. And we got, oh my, oh my God! A Misty Seedra, holy cow! I know it's not the rarest thing, but it's looking in great condition. This could be a nine, which, and it's a pre-release. It's a, oh my gosh. I have no idea how much this is worth. It's gonna be up on there. That's absolutely nuts. And it's a near mint seven. So dang, holy cow. That's a sweet card. Wow. That's way better than some of the other ones. Yeah, we got some whitening along and dents on the edges here, lightly played. I handle whitening along the bottom, but holy cow, that's a neat card. Wow. 1999 pre-release i have no idea what that's even worth holy cow wow sweet so first box didn't really pull anything from the other sets we got um an ariados trainer gallery which i'm trying to pick up off the table without hurting it and this pre-release misty cedra holy cow that's pretty sweet wow cool one down we got three to go Maybe we can pull some vintage packs. Again, Project Miu. Follow him on Instagram, at Project Miu, M-I-U. Here we go. End of the second one. Oh, wow. My heart is racing. Again, these are $200 a box, so please give a like, comment, subscribe if you're liking what you're seeing. Um, I'm brand new to YouTube, so I'm just trying to figure this stuff out. We'll open this one upside down, you know, maybe that'll give us the, the chance at a new booster box here. So I excuse me, booster pack for vintage. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, looking from the bottom. Again, we're looking for anything that's Wizards of the Coast era or chase packs here. Come one and two, I have four. We could expect, I don't know, who knows, we could get three. Hopefully just one. I, that's why I got four. I just wanted one. Um, we can start off here. Okay, good. We pulled from the right. We got Fusion Strike, you know, tons of cards in here. Pull rates are a little, uh, little, little hard, but we'll try to figure something out with it. Here's your code card. 
and come around card trick for the front i'm glad i opened that one up the right way and we have a lightning energy sand slash swab swab boom excuse me Grammomatic smeargle that's such a cool card wow love smeargle quillfish tynamo galarian Meowth. you know scott's thoughts has some thoughts about galarian Meowth on youtube if you go watch them and gossiflor and a reverse rare or a choreo, which is cool. Nice little card. Oh, and a greed at VMAX. You know, he's very greedy. I, I want to be a little greedy with these packs. See if we can get some stuff. So we finally got a hit from uh, a Fusion Strike pack of all things. Uh, but we'll put those over there for now. Put my commons over here. Okay, here we go. Next, we have another Fusion Strike with the new art. Getting a Mew in this would be sweet. Love Mew. Needs to be some more favorable to me but you know maybe we can push a truck aside next to a ship and find him under there instead of in these fusion strike packs more likely to find that the game shark g uh white code card missed that opportunity but there's yours so one two three four i don't even know if there's anything in the reverse slot for these but we'll find out again the mystery box ah dark energy poke tomorrow school boy primate makuita hand pour on the luck, so waddle, Skarmory, single strike, jinx. Looking to give you a big kiss, a reverse rare, tr reverse howl, trubbish, excuse me, and a pebble sand. That's more like fusion strike, I know. All right, so put this down. Oh, oh, the top loaders. You know what that means? Oh, that means we got a vintage pack in here. Yes. Ooh. And he puts those in there so they're unweighable. So you can't figure it out. Oh! First edition gym challenge pack. Oh my god, I didn't know that was going to be there. Holy sh. Oh my god. Oh. oh, that's awesome. I am going to put that aside. Oh, we did it. We got one of the great best hits of them. Holy cow. Oh. Okay, gotta calm down. Here's another top loader. Oh my god, on the second one, we got a Darkness Ablaze. Maybe, okay, uh, if we get a Charizard here, that's the only thing in here that I, I'd ever be looking for. Or oh, the Salamance, you know, that's pretty cool. Salamance Reverser, he's sweet. He was a wall for me on Gen 3 a lot. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I am freaking out right now. Okay, there we go. We got a white code card. This one's backwards than I was normally pulling them, but uh, that's good. We might get a hollow in here then. Oh my god, Leaf Energy, Staravia, Datrix, Turbo Patch, Trap Inch, Vanillite, Galette, Hand Sage, Skitty, Reverse Rare Toxel, and. Oh, okay, is that. That says White Code Card, doesn't it? Oh, a Mel Metal Regular. Okay. Maybe that was different for. For Darkness of Blaze. Maybe I had that backwards. All right, oh my gosh. It doesn't really matter what else we get in here. I am absolutely stoked. A second Darkness Ablaze. So I have to double check on that price, but I'm pretty sure we've, we've more than made our money back on, on this set with a Gym Challenge First Edition. Holy cow, holy cow. Here's a code card for this. Sword and Shield, Darkness Ablaze. You know, this was a cool set until they released like six more Charizards that just beat it out. Now it's like 40 bucks for the Reverse Rare. Sorry, excuse me, the uh, Hyper Rare Charizard from this set, but, you know, Bug Trio, Ariados, Old PC, still fun to open. I love the knitted ones. So this is, is it Isako Ito? Uh, I I'll have to check to see if his artwork is like that, because I'd like to start collecting his, because I love those little knit ones. It reminds me of Yoshi's Woolly World or the, the Kirby game that has it. PM4. Reverse rare, reverse rare, yeah, Gothitelle, and an Ampharos. So, we're not really getting many hits. We got that, uh, we got that nice Garidan VMAX out of the Fusion Strike. But, again, guys, holy cow. My heart is still racing over this. This is so fantastic. I am over the moon. So, we have this, and I'm not, I, I think, let me double check through this. Again, once I get a camera, this will be easier for me to look up during the time. But getting this, and then we also have the Misty Cedra, which is seven, which is a beautiful hollow pattern in the background, in pre-release. I'm not even sure what that does for the value. I'll have it up in the corner there. 
uh, just so y'all can see it. But wow, 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 wow. Two down, two big hits so far. That's nuts. But whew, holy cow. We were right. They rained down the luck on us. So I'll get this one open for number three. Excuse me, that was not enough. I shouldn't be afraid of scratching these boxes. There's nothing going to do with them. But number three, it's a one and two chance. And I think that's one, that's one of the best ones you can pull out of there. I mean, you have base set, gym challenge, first edition, team rocket, first edition again, jungle, Stormfront, Legendary Treasures, Boundaries Cross, Generations, Flashfire, Triumphant, Sky Ridge, Harkel, Pulse Silver, and Legendary Collection. To pull a Legendary Collection or a Sky Ridge would blow my mind, but anything of these is great. I actually talked to Project Mia about all these packs, and there are actually more than are listed. That's all that would fit, though, so look forward to that. The Gym Challenge first edition. Wow. Never would have... I don't know. I'm super stoked, guys. That's awesome. Okay, okay. Open this. So, some of y'all saying it's haters for Poker Rev saying he opens them up just to get views so people can pump it up. I think we've determined that was a lie. Because uh, you can pull something like that out of there. Starting off again, got a sweet fusion strike. I think it's my it's not my least favorite set of Sword and Shield, but it's definitely up there. I I just have had no good luck with it and. I don't know. There's just so many other good sets that overshadow it. I mean, even I even like battle styles more. So, uh, but there is your code card, and we'll still do the card trick. This is all worth it. These are two hundred bucks each. I'm gonna savor my time with them. Water energy, chili and Xelon and Cress, Little Score, Grimoon. Oh man, my heart's still going crazy. Toxel, Totodile, Veneery. Lapapus, Dynamo, Reverse, Rare, oh, sorry, excuse me, I always say that, Reverse, Hollow, Double, and oh my god, <laughs> the Fusion Strike, I've been talking smack on Fusion Strike, and here we are with a Rainbow Bolton V Max, wow, and great centering on the back, oh wow, no whitening around there, the, wow, oh, two of these, wow, Man, wow, I'm gonna sleeve that up before I go anywhere. Holy cow, holy cow, holy cow, holy cow, holy cow. Wow, I wonder what the pull rate is on that. I'll put it up there. That is nuts. Get you all over there. Yeah, I think this is a graded card one just because, again, I think after the first pack, I would have figured it out with the card top loader, but oh my god. Brilliant stars here. Let's continue the luck, guys. Holy cow, what an opening. What an opening. Oh, we got, oh two, two code cards? What what the heck? What's going on here? Uh, I don't even know if the card trick is going to work on this, then. This might just be the rare on top. It's not. Uh, I wonder which one it is, because they were conflicting cards. But here we go. Fighting Energy, Weevil, Dusclops, Morgrim, Corefish, Galette, Chimeco, Chimchar, Minchino. Oh, I love this Mewtwo card so much. I have it, I just, I've only ever gotten the regular rare of it, so I'm glad to have it in Reverse Hollow and a Golurk. So looks like the white code card was the one, but again, sweet Mewtwo card to add to my Mewtwo collection. Put all these over there. I'll get him sleeved up just because I love him so much. Mewtwo card and a Mewtwo sleeve. There we go. Oh man. Yeah, it looks like this is another graded graded card pack, but chilling rain. It's all worth it to me at this point. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. Code card for chilling rain. Again, this is a set that's I don't know, it's kind of meh, but lots of cool alt artworks. And it's a steal right now. You can find it for like 89 bucks for a booster box. So pretty good investment if you... It's definitely going to go probably back up to 130 150 here in the next few years, if not up to like 200 bucks most likely after it gets out. Venipede, Sphiel, or Brawler, Celio, and a regular Rare Dark Trio. Put you back over here, guys. 
All right, another fusion strike for the Bolton Diamond. You know, Bolton, we got the Bolton V-Max. Rainbow Rare, craziness. I have trouble pulling. Okay, we got the code card here. Ah! One, two, three, four to the front. Got a Fighting Energy, a Persian, Power Cup, Darmanitan, Makuita, PM4, Sawaddle, Skarmory. That's like the same order that I had in the other ones. And the Jinx, but different reverse. And then an Esselgor there. I always don't know if I'm saying his name right, but, you know, he's an octopus. Okay, so it looks like this should be where we're at for the... Oh, no other card. We just had the graded card in this one. So no reverse. That gives me hope. A PSA again. So we'll find the lip. Don't have to worry about that after the first opening. That gives me hope that this could be something crazy here. There's not another card. Okay. Again, his message there. Looks great from the back. And... <gasps> oh, they set Niddle King. Oh, oh my God! It looks it looks mint. It looks mint. This might be a ten. It's an eight. What what's wrong with it? What's wrong? This is still sweet though. Holy cow! Oh my God! Is it the centering off in the back? Why did this get an eight? There might be some whitening up on the edges up there. Maybe. Wow. So be oh wait okay I think I know why. There's some scratches on the on the actual hollow itself. Yeah, I don't know if you can see them on there, but looks like there's some factory lines and just some general wear. So that's that's where it comes from. But the stuff, oh my gosh. Guys, we have two huge hits from the PSA graded cards. And that's like crazy, because I saw people getting like freaking leaf energies graded. We have the Near Mint 7 of the Misty Seedra pre-release, which I can't imagine the, the, the population of this card is big. I was dead wrong. And then the base set, Base set Nitto King, and I've always loved this card. So beautiful. All right, so we're back after my phone was charging, um, and I actually had some time to look up cards, whatnot, and looks like this Bolton D Max is around nine bucks. So cool, sweet. And then we move into the pre release, which I didn't realize was a promo, but yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, with out of seven, this goes anywhere between, I don't know, 30 to $60. So we'll just say, you know, 40 you know. So right now we're at 50 bucks. We moved into the Nitto King Near Mint uh, 8. And this was right around $55. So <clears throat> with that, <clears throat> excuse me, that's like 100 bucks there. And then holy cow, again, guys, this freaking first edition Gym Challenger Pack goes for four hundred and ninety dollars four hundred and ninety that's already six hundred ninety dollars of value out of this let alone the experience of opening it that is and we got one more we have one more so how about we just go open that uh see if we can get another one i mean it's one and two we're done with that one so i've gotten one base pack Ooh, dropped a pin and two one vintage pack and two of the graded cards. So we'll come across the top, open the last one. Holy cow. And again, guys, if you like what you're seeing, please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what your favorite pull is out of this. Um, and uh, last one, here we go. This way. Here we go. First one, we got Chilling Rain. Pop that open. Code card. Wow. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but that is... I think I really stopped collecting when I was young, right around Gym Challenge Pat time, and I remember getting, like... Wayne's Arcanine and things like that, but wow, I remember I actually, when I was a kid, I made this foolish decision, and I got really into Yu-Gi-Oh! right after Pokemon came out. I forget, I had a hollow Lugia at one point, 
and I traded them all away for Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and I've never regretted something more in my life. I still have a bunch, but, like, all of my hollows were gone, and ugh, I'm mainly so upset. So that's why it's so nice to be able to get that. The reverse um, hollow Curlia, and oh my god, Valonia! <laughs> oh, man, these, these pulls! Wow, value will be up there. Oh my god! What is this? That's two hyper rares out of these packs and of, of Chilling Rain and Fusion Strike which, when you never expect it. Wow, wow, wow. That is awesome. Man, guys, we're like making our money back. That's so cool. And I see, I, I think, I don't think I'm going to open up the the gym challenge pack. I'm sorry, y'all. Like that's, that's something special to me. I think I'm going to keep, go get it graded and just keep it stored. So again, Looks like this might be another graded card, but wow, because before there was the top loaders up to the second pack, but we'll see. Fusion Strike. Oh, wow, wow. Code card for you. Holy Energy. Simus Age. Dancer. Halucha. The Cool Looking Smeargle. Quillfish. Tynamo. Galarian Meowth, Gossiflar, <laughs> Little Poxel, got his little stuffed Pokeball he's ripping apart, and an Inteleon V! So lots of hits out of this box. Great, great cards. Hoping we can get something cool with the uh, graded card in here too. We had to make about 110 bucks out of it. Oh, oh my god, guys. Guys, I was wrong. Look, 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 the top loader. You know what this means? You know what this means? I'm actually going to pull from the bottom because of that. I want it to be the last thing we do for this opening. Because we had another Fusion Strike with the Gen so far. I'm going to make sure it's the last pack we pull. Oh my gosh. My heart's racing again. So guys, these packs are legit. That's one and two. I got two over one four. I mean, that's not statistically relevant. But, you know, after watching a bunch, reading a bunch about people, that's really what really looks like these are legit so i i would give them a try if you got if you got 200 bucks i mean you can gamble with one if you can get two you're probably gonna make decent money off of it if, or make money oh, i can't promise that uh, the disclaimer but wow gliscor center scorch bug catcher clef key pan sage this has been a lot of fun a whole lot of fun i i haven't felt this way in a long time panchum Daramuka. Power tablet and an Arcanine. Looks really cool. Just a regular rare. Okay, here's Chilling Rain, the last of our regular packs. Oh my god, I'm so nervous for that. I'm so nervous for that. I mean, most likely it's going to be something. There's, I can't expect another Wizards of the Coast set. I can't. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. This code card. Man, any vintage pack is cool. Any vintage pack is cool. We have Psychic Energy, Lavon, Welcoming Lantern, Drizzle, Shuffet, Cast Form, Snowin. I miss the snow living out here in California now. Ghastly, Kavu. I think I see something in the back here. Hatena, Reverse Hollow, Fog Crystal, and ah, oh, Kecleon. You know, that's funny that I thought I, thought I, saw, thought I saw something and it was a Kecleon. The Master of Disguise himself. Here we go, guys. Oh my gosh, I am so nervous for this. So first, I'm going to pull out the two, two of these. And here we go. I'm closing my eyes. Closing my eyes. Oh my gosh, there's so many things in here. And it is, oh, it's a plasma storm from black and white. So that's pretty cool. Wow, that's, that's really cool. Articuno art on there. Really, that's awesome. Two vintage packs. Man, guys, this has been absolutely nuts. My wife just sneezed in the background, so bless you. And we got a first edition Gym Heroes. This is so cool. We also pulled this beautiful Hyper Rare Peonia and a Hyper Rare Volton B Max. So that, I, I don't know how much I could have asked for. And two graded cards. We got the Misty Seedra pre release at a near mint seven and a. Base set Nitto King, Mint 8. That two beautiful cards. We got just all sorts of pulls. Oh, we also pulled this 
created VMAX, you know, two good fusion strikes. But wow, guys. Again, Project Mew, give him a follow right up there on Instagram. Has a bunch of these packs in it. Uh, I'm inclined to maybe be a repeat customer. We'll see if we have any funds in the future. But thank you all so much for joining me today. And here comes the outro. Hey, y'all. So thanks again for watching. I want to announce this giveaway that we're going on. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe what your favorite part of the video was, what your favorite pull was. I really appreciate y'all's support. But today we have uh, a little bit of a water theme as we're going to be giving away some of the McDonald's hollows. We have a Froakie, a Squirtle, and a Totodile. The winner of this giveaway will win all three of these. I'll ship them out as soon as it's announced. So please remember uh, to keep supporting the channel, and I appreciate you all. Thank you. Here you go.